All right, this is Crota giving you another commentary on a 2v2 map between Crota, You Gonna Cry versus Gunslinger812 and Vizian ZZ. This game happened on US West and it's going to take place on Centaur Grove. Um, this is just another one of my replays. Um, during the load screen, I did see that it was going to be Orc and Night Elf. So I um, assumed that it was gonna, that we may have to face against Mass Tier 1 with Hunts and Grunts. A, a very nice unit combination, so I decided to go rifles. And my partner is going to go ahead and tell me that he's going to creep this particular spawn, and I'm fine with that. He's going to he's going to go ahead and go the blade master, while I'm actually going to go MK rifles. And my build order is just a little bit different in an MK rifle build. I'm trying to c currently collect that sixty that sixty wood now. And I've personally played around with this build order for a little while. I'm trying to develop a, a strategy where my Mountain King doesn't come out late, especially on a 2v2 map. Um, you really want your hero out early just in case you do get harassed. Um, as it is, Orc and Night Elf, Blade Master slash Demon Hunter combination is still a very high um, probability of, um, of what's going to happen early game and harass. And coming from Vizion, we do see a Demon Hunter and we do see a Blade Master coming out from Gunslinger812, so this is going to be um, most likely in a harass tech, especially since there are no production units coming from um, the Night Elf at this time. Meanwhile, we do have a barracks being produced by Gunslinger812, so it's most likely going to be Blade Master and Grunts. I do see a Wisp that comes in across the map, and deducing that that Wisp probably didn't come cross map, um, I assumed that, that, was, that the top left-hand position was going to be the Night Elf player. Meanwhile, I, and my partner You're Gonna Cry is producing producing a grunt and almost has his Blade Master out. No shop yet though for any players. So we do have an Ancient of War and we do have archers coming out. And, and we do have um, Vivian Z nicely putting his wrist in the back of his base protected by his moon walls. Very nice tech so far coming from both players. Blade Master coming out, sees a wisp, gonna try to take him out, gets detonated for his all his trouble and Mountain King on his way out, and we have a Demon Hunter coming in for the harass. So Demon Hunter is going to get there just in time as my Mountain King's going to pop out. My Mountain King's going to be about 30 seconds late, and here comes the Mountain King. I'm going to go ahead and try to creep this camp until I see the Demon Hunter come in. And luckily I had already called to arm four of my, um, four of my militia, so Mountain King's going to come in. I don't see that Wind Walking Blade Master. Try to do a bolt to try to deter him. Especially since I do not want to get mana burned. I want to get off as many bolts as I possibly can. I now have all of my wood wood peons going ahead trying to um, get, do this fight. Or, or just trying to um, do some damage. Meanwhile, I'm going to do another pull off another bolt. I'm down to 88 mana. And don't see the demon hunter. The demon hunter gets a mana burn on me. And now I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. Because my mountain king is currently low on hit points. And partner is still creeping out that... That spawn location, so that's fine. I'm lo currently losing lo in a losing battle against two heroes. I get another mana burn on my Mountain King. Just trying to have a hard time here. I have the Blade Master trapped, but for some reason I let him free. So that that's my mistake. I should have just turned around and started shooting that Blade Master. That Blade Master unable to wind walk, and I and now my I'm gonna go ahead and have my uh, wood wood peons go ahead and head back. Currently sitting at 16 mana on my. I'm on my Mountain King, so I'm not too worried against that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, for some reason, try, starts to overcommit to this fight. He's going to go ahead and try to mana burn me and start, starts to push in a little bit further than he possibly should. Meanwhile, we have the Blade Master using that Fountain of Health, trying to heal as quickly as he can. And we have um, another Blade Master. My partner's, you're going to cry, Blade Master, going to try to heal or try to harass you what's going on. I'm building an Arcane Vault try to heal all of my units because my mountain king is low i do want to get a clarity potion to be able to um to be able to do some more bolting i'm attempt to creep down here and once again i get harassed by gunslinger we have a dust of appearance so i do see that blade master that blade master does have dust downs getting getting hit getting hit i'm trying to take down that blade blade master blade master getting surrounded i'm going to go ahead and pull my mountain king back and down goes the, the blade master gunslinger is now trying to chase me trying to chase me with that one grunt and he goes ahead and goes down too so a nice kill as well demon hunter is now trying to commit to me as well i'm using peasants to try to attack me and it um, perhaps I, I i originally wanted it so that the peasants would get the kill but it actually worked well for me because the peasants was always a, a constant wall between me and the demon hunter so the demon hunter was unable to get to me so that was that was a very nice trick 
um, having the peasants follow me to attack me just so that the demon hunter couldn't get, hit me with his glaives. Now, um, I'm a little bit behind, so my partner, You're Gonna Cry, is, gives me 100 gold, 200 lumber for all that harassment that took place. And I'm now trying to speed build this particular, uh, my arcane vault. And both heroes are down, but they're only level 1 heroes, so those heroes are going to come up rather quickly. Meanwhile, a Tree of Ages already tech to by Vivisian and getting double Ancient of Lore. Meanwhile, we have Stronghold um, nearing completion from Gunslinger. So, you know, we are very, very behind on the tech here, but we do have a 36 food army compared to, I don't know unless I switch over, um, 31 food army for Gunslinger. Um, Blade Master now trying to creep. I'm going to go ahead and try to creep as well. And I'm going to purposely keep my Mountain King back and so that he can continue to heal as I creep out this, this quick spawn. My arch, or my Riflemen are already upgraded to one zero, so they do are doing a very good amount of damage. That piercing damage in the back, not too worried against that normal armor. I'm able to get to level 2 on my Mountain King and then Bash is going to come in and play a very, very nice role. Now we have a Demon Hunter and Panda coming in f from the Night Elf player and then Gunslinger also purchases a Panda. So Breath of Fire is going to rain havoc all over my army. So I see the Demon Hunter trying to come in and I see I see this and Breath of Fire across the Rifleman. Rifleman having more hit points than footman so i'm not too worried right there that my rifleman got breath of fired but then i see the second panda and i really have to come to the back of my base now two breath of fires my, my militia are going to be very very be taking a lot of damage from breath of fire we have breath of fire across the unit to have a bolt on the demon hunter trying to take them down second breath of fire comes down and peasants now i have militia all over the place a lot of fighting going on. We have a bolt on the demon hunter. Demon hunter goes down. A lot of red militia and a lot of red grunts. Just a lot of damage all over the place. Now, I saw that breath of fire and I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's the cooldown? Is it six seconds, eight seconds? Okay, I'll have to finish it off with another bolt. Make sure he doesn't get another breath of fire off. Another breath of fire would have wreaked havoc on, on this base. So here I am. I'm just trying to fire, trying to do as much damage as I can. And with these upgraded riflemen, I'm able to push back this attack even though all of my units seem to be in the red. Now, I don't see this. I, Blade Master is now back out. I'm trying to take down this rifleman. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try to ro pull this rifleman back. And I unfortunately lined up so many units for the Blade Master to kill that are all in the red. And Blade Master currently sitting at 200 hit points, 150 hit points. He win walks and he gets bashed, but was able to walk away with 10 hit points. And no dust of appearance for us. So I'm going to go ahead and use a clarity potion and a healing potion or a, a healing scroll and try to regroup. I'm going to go ahead and get my lumber mill up and I am researching up to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and grab um, my, uh, I believe I, I pick up a paladin and I try to get long range on my, on my rifleman. Demon Hunter unable to really do any damage. Five riflemen against that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is forced to pull back. I'm getting my paladin now. And in this break of the action, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And stay tuned for part two of this replay.